Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel. Today we will be looking at this Siri project which is an amazing use of Siri on an iPhone. So of course from the intro you already know that if you're an Android user this is not the product for you. It is only used for iPhones because it is called the Siri project and Siri is available on iPhone. But if you're an iPhone user I do think this is really worth picking up. So please stick around to learn more about the product and let's get straight into the intro and into the review. Perfect, so you decide to stick around, which means you want to learn more about the Siri project. So what is the Siri project? Unfortunately, I cannot do a performance for you because I am using my phone to film this, so I cannot really do a performance, but I will give you a small performance of it and how it would work. So essentially you would introduce, in one of the routines, you would introduce um, a pack of celebrity cards. They could either be specially printed, you could just have them written on um, pieces of cardboard that you make yourself and you print out from your printer. You could also just simply just take 52 business cards and write different um, celebrities on them. However you want, as long as you have a deck of 52 celebrities or 52 different things, they don't have to necessarily be celebrities, it could be anything but in the tutorial it does show you with celebrities. So we'll go with that. You have a deck of celebrities, you show it to the spectator, you tell them in a moment I'm gonna have you pick a celebrity, but I don't want you to be influenced by uh, which celebrity you choose. So we're gonna do this fully at random. Do you know how you choose a number fully at random? The is probably gonna say, I don't know, um, pick a, like from a roulette or whatever. You tell them, oh, actually it's, uh, you're close. It's with a die. Rolling a die gives you a random number. So, I don't know if you know, but Siri actually has that functionality. Siri, roll a die. You ask Siri, so Siri's gonna say like two. Then, okay, so two. So it rolls a random number every time. However, we want a bigger number. Since we're using 52 cards, let's use something bigger. So let's roll two dice, and then have the first digit be the first number, and the second digit be the second number, so we create a two-digit number. Siri, roll two dice. It's gonna give you a number. Then you tell them, okay, so you ask her as well. Let's ask her to roll. She's going to roll. Siri, roll two dice. Let's say it gives you two and three. So you ask the specter, are you happy with two and three, which gives you 23? They can say yes or no. They can change their mind. So let's say they do change their mind. They're going to ask Siri, roll two dice. Let's say it gives uh, three and one. So three and one is 31. You ask them, are you happy with 31? Let's say the specter says yes. He could still change their mind if they want to. Then... They take the deck of celebrity cards, they go down to the 30th card, they take the 31st card, they look at it while your back is turned, they place everything back, and then you can reveal the name, or however you want it, you have the name of the celebrity. So, that's essentially one of the routines. So, I think you kind of understand what the Siri project is. It's essentially a way to influence, to force, to reveal certain information using Siri, which is great because it's built in. It doesn't use any app. It doesn't use anything fishy. It just uses the normal Siri on your phone. And the tasks you ask Siri to do are tasks that Siri will do on a Spectre's phone as well. Of course, it has to be, this has to be performed on your own phone. But if a Spectre afterwards goes home and he asks Siri to roll a die, Siri's gonna roll it and it's gonna give a random number. So he's gonna be like, okay, just use Siri. I don't know how he did that. So that's an interesting way of, um, of using Siri without any app, anything fishy, because the Spectre, once he's gonna go home and if he ever wants to try it out, he will be able to run relatively the same things that happen on your phone on theirs. So that is the Siri project. That was kind of a big intro, but I, since I can't perform it, I kind of wanted to give you a big chunk of information. Now, let's talk about where you purchase this and what do you get when you purchase this and how much does it cost? This is available at, I believe, most magic shops since it was released by Murphy's. It is currently available at Penguin Magic for 15 US dollars. It is 50% off right now on Penguin Magic only, I believe. I did go check online on other shops and it is not. So if you wanted to get it on Penguin Magic right now, it is $15, whereas it's $30 $30 usually at any other shop. So if you're interested, go get it as a download in Penguin Magic. What do you get when you purchase this? You get um, six, six effects. For each effect, you get a performance and an explanation, which is specific explanation for that specific effect, because each effect, even though some of them are similar, they are done a bit differently. 
So there's an explanation and a performance for each effect. You then get uh, on top of that a PDF manual that goes over quickly how uh, the trick works and gives you a few commands that you can use. And then it gives you for the one of the routines, you have an Excel file that you can save on your computer, or you have a, a PDF file that you can save on your phone. And the purpose of those files and the PDF manual is that everything is already provided for you. So everything you need for this to work, you do not have to do an inch of anything technological because all the files are provided to you. Everything is done. All you have to do is click on the specific trick you want to do. It will then install what you need on your phone and you will be ready to go. Of course, since this is a download, it does not provide to you a deck of cards, a celebrity deck of cards, etc. It just gives you the actual um, files for Siri to work as intended, which is great. That's probably the main thing I love about this is everything is provided to you. All you have to do is click to download and you are good to go. Some other projects like these, I've had, uh, for example, if you take, um, I believe it's called Big Brother by Brian Connor, which came out a few years ago, it used something similar. It is fully credited on the project. So uh, Brian Connor's idea is fully credited. And Amir even says that he asked Brian for permission to use the concept for his Siri project and he got it. So it is fully credited. But in that uh, release, the the actual things you had to do were not provided to you. So you had to do everything yourself. And that took me in that release like two hours, okay? It took me like two hours to set it up. And then one day, uh, the Google Assistant, because that didn't use Siri, you actually had to use Google Assistant, which was a bit weird on an iPhone. But after that, Google Assistant had like a, a data breach or something. So it erased most of the commands. And when I saw that, I would have, I didn't even bother redoing the commands for Google Plus. So I just gave up on the effect. And let's say that happens with the Siri project. Everything is already provided for you. So even if by accident something happens and your phone gets wiped or you get a new phone, you just click on the PDF and everything is downloaded for you ready to go. So you don't have to ever do anything ever again to make this work. You just reinstall it, the package, and you're good to go, which is great. So that's what you get. Now let's talk about difficulty. Is this difficult to perform? The answer is no. Every single routine is super easy to do. You technically don't even do anything. For most of the routines, um, you don't even have to do anything. For the one with the celebrities that I told you about, there's one that uses the same principle with a deck of cards. There's um, For those two, you technically don't even touch the deck. The specter does everything. You don't do anything. Uh, Siri does pretty much our, everything for you. That's hard. So this is more of a utility device that lets you do some really clean effects. There's also a book test in this where Siri is going to give a specter a page. They're going to go on that page. They're going to remember a word and you will have predicted that word. I do like that presentation, but I want to give everyone, if you're watching this and you decide to buy this, let me give you something that's going to be great for you. You can do this impromptu. Okay. Let me tell you how. Once you know how this works, you can go to someone's house, have them select a book, okay? You can have them select the book, bring it to you on the table. You tell them why they chose this book, whatever. And then as you place the book down, you, you already are so ahead of the game because then you ask Siri to name different pages. You ask the specter if he likes the page. He does, you tell him, take the book, go, out the, go look at the first word of the page, your head is turned and you'll be able to reveal it. Once you know how this works, you can do this impromptu. In the tutorial, it teaches you how to do it with um, a set of uh, flashcards and a small move that you have to do with a book that may look fishy. But if you actually know how this works, you can actually do this in a really, really interesting way, impromptu. So that's my gift to you if you decide to watch this far into the video and purchase this. My gift to you. Um, and yeah, difficulty-wise, Siri pretty much covers everything. Now let's get into practicality. Is this practical to perform? So what do you need for this? You need your phone. You probably already have your phone with you. Your series already on your phone. If you install the packages, everything is done. So technically on the Siri side, on the technological side, you already carry your phone. Everything is already done. You are good to go. Second of all, what do you need is you do need your extra prop. If you want to do the book one that I told you about, you can bring your own book and make it even cleaner. 
but if you want, you can borrow a book. However, if you want to do the celebrity one, if you want to do something with movies or with actors, because this is fully customizable to whatever you want in terms of reveal, you will have to provide your own deck or create your own deck of flashcards, could be on business cards, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be super professional, but you can provide it your own and make it your own for those routines. So that's essentially the practicality of that. Now, there is a bit of a difference when you go into the bigger routine, which is kind of the card reveal, which I do want to talk about since we did talk about difficulty and I said it's pretty easy to do. There is a bit of a difficulty in that routine that also kind of uh, works in the practicality because it requires a bit of memory work. For one of the routines, you will have to learn certain things by heart or have a crib for you to remember them. It's not extremely hard, but it will require some work. So for some people, that's going to be a bit of a drawback. But you do need, to, for one of the routines, which is the pre kind of the prediction one, you will have to learn a bit of wording for it to work perfectly. But you can easily do this as a crib if you want. But nonetheless, practicality-wise, you as long as you have your phone, a deck of cards, or whatever you want to use for this effect, you will... Uh, pretty much be ready to go at any point in time and it is practical. However, last thing about practicality, for some of these routines, there is a cleanup. So you do need to do a cleanup, a reset on your phone. You can do it in front of the specters, they probably won't know what's going on, but make sure you do it because if you perform this at a table, you move to another table and you forget to do the reset, then your trick will not work. So keep that in mind. It is covered in every single video, in every single instruction, that reset is covered. So make sure you remember it. Now, let's talk about where to perform this. So where do you perform this? This can pretty much be performed anywhere. It will shine, of course, in like casual performances, table hopping, restaurant, bar, clubs, anything like that. It can also be done uh, parlor stage. I know David Penn loves uh, technology magic right now. I even think that he mentions at one point that his show is basically all using phone apps and, and phones and tablets. So you can even take this and do it on stage if you want. If you want that type of performance, you can even do it on stage. So this can pretty much be performed anywhere. It can pretty much be performed anywhere as long as you have your phone and the extra prop that you want to use for this to, to work. So a deck of cards, a deck of celebrity, a deck of movies, whatever you want. Um... You can use that anywhere you want. Small tip, if you want, you can combine this with Sentimental by Nicholas Mavresis. I won't say much again. This is this is just while I was giving the review, I just had this, this imagination. So another gift from me to you. If you own Sentimental by Nicholas Mavresis, you own this, your deck for Sentimental will be kind of set up for you to be able to perform uh, this trick as well kind of something to ponder but as you can see this this is even sparking kind of ideas for me as i'm doing the review which uh which is great so that is what i have to say about where to perform you can pretty much do it anywhere now that's pretty much all i have to say about the siri project let's talk about positives and negatives what are the negatives uh the negatives are if you have a, if you have an android you will not be able to perform this a second negative is the reset. Do not forget the reset because if you forget that reset, you will have a very awkward trick that's going to happen next time you perform it. Do not forget that reset. I repeat, do not forget it because you'll have an awkward performance for the next table you go to. So those are only the two negatives that I have for this effect. What are the positives? The positives are this feels like a project. There's a lot here. There's a performance for every trick. There's an explanation for every trick. Every explanation is catered for that specific trick, which is great. Um, it goes over how to do everything, how to clean it up. Everything is explained in detail. Third, everything is provided to you. You will not have to do any like technological advanced things for this to work. All you have to do is go on the PDFs that are provided to you once you buy it, click on the link, and you are ready to go and go out, perform this for people. Everything is provided to you. Fourth, this is a really interesting way of using Siri 
in your effects. And what's nice is that if the Spectre wants to run these commands later on at home, let's say he wants to roll a die, roll two dice at home, it will work. So the spectator will see this unfold in his own phone. So the fact you have to use your phone doesn't even feel fishy because if they want to run it, it will run too. And the last positive is this is really interesting to use as a utility device and spark imagination. Just as I was talking to you in the review, I kind of thought of using this with Cinemental. Um, on my own, I kind of wanted to use this with movies because I really like movies. So I wanted to create a deck with movies, etc. And a last, last, last positive is there's a lot here to go. There's different ideas to using the same thing. For example, if you don't like to roll two dice, you can run a command, pick a number that is provided as well. And that command will do the same thing as the roll two dice, but it's going to feel more fair. Because if you don't want to do it with the dice, you can just say, hey Siri, pick a number. It's going to pick a number and you use it as a number. So there's really different things you can do here and different effects. And this is something that I will definitely perform. This is great. So let's go into the wrap up of the video. Do I recommend the Siri project? Yes, if you own an iPhone, I think for the price that it's going at right now for 15 bucks on Penguin right now, I think this is a steal. This is something that you should have because once you have it, it will never ever expire you'll be able to do this even if you buy a new phone tomorrow you will just be able to re-download everything and perform it because siri is not going to disappear and apple products are not going to disappear so this will be here for you for almost as long as apple and siri stay alive which is going to be a long long time so this is something that's going to be timely and it's great to just have on you on your phone because it doesn't use an app anything have it on your phone what is the con in that? This is something you're going to be able to perform whenever you want since it's going to be always with you. Now, I do recommend it. It gets my highest recommendation for people that want a more numerical value. I give the Siri project by Amir Mughal a 9.25 on 10. The only reason I dock a point is that there is the risk that you may forget to clear the effect. If you just forget, it does happen. You will have maybe an awkward performance next time you do it. And that is something to keep in mind. But nonetheless, this is a great, great product and something if you have an iPhone, I really do recommend to you with my highest regards. Thank you so much for watching and see everyone in the next review.